What is up guys? Today I am in Minneapolis, Minnesota at Los Campiones. We are going to do some powerlifting shit today. I have never really done this, so it's kind of something new for me, but the guys and girls that we are with today have been doing this for a while, and we are going to get it. Let's go do some powerlifting today. Woo! I'm put me through a full workout today. We are doing the deads, we are doing the squats, and we did the bench. I am sore as fuck. A Brandon's gonna squat here, and I'm gonna have him do his uh, regular form first. And I'm just gonna see how he squats his form, so let's see it. Let's do a six reps. Alright, a couple changes that we're gonna make is how he unracks it and we're gonna play with the split stance a little bit. But overall, it's not bad. So, how uh, you unrack it, I'll start with the unrack position. You unrack your feet really wide. Okay. Um, we're gonna change that and bring your feet in really close to hip width when you unrack. Okay. So that way it's easier to get out of the rack and your, your center of uh, gravity is more balanced. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing. Number two is you do a high bar position, that's fine. So we're gonna stick with that. I really don't want to change anything with that, so that's fine. And for your feet stance, your foot stance on that uh, is pretty good. We're gonna go a hair wider and open up those steps so you can sit back and adapt comfortably, come back up, okay? All right. So I'm gonna do it. So I'm not gonna squat, but I'm gonna show you how long you're on rack, okay? Yep. So when we get on the bar, again, it's a little high for me, so bear with me. Uh, imagine you see you, so you're gonna have your feet on hip width. This is what we did before, okay? Yep. We don't want that. Bring your hip feet in, our racket, middle, to the side, to the side, open up your hips, and from there you're gonna squat. Alright, okay? So, let's try it again. So, just gonna make sure you can make sure you hips under the bar, get under the bar. Don't unrack on your back. A little wider your feet, but they're wider, good. On my three, I'm right head down. I'll arch your head up. Three, two, one, so stay, middle, side, side, open up, good. A little wider, a little wider, good. Keep it tight, take a step forward, and you're gonna sit back. Sit back, sit back, sit back, and up. Good, let's do four more. Sit back, sit back, sit back, and up. Good, deeper. Down, 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 up. Good, one more. Big breath. Down, 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 and up. Rack it in. So, the biggest thing is uh, hitting depth. In a parallel thing, and in general, uh, what you want to do is go slightly below parallel. Now, you don't want to go over the overboard with the depth and go ATG, have button wiki, and go deeper than you can. You just want to hit slightly below parallel, like inch or two, and you're solid. Um, so, Brandon here is going to squat, and then we'll see what that looks like. Let's do four, okay? Take your time, take your time. Three, I'm racking the steps. Yep, open up, open up, good. Drill is easy. Take a step forward. Here you go. Yes! Down, 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 up. Beautiful. Good. Come on. Big breath. Sit back. Down, 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 up. Good. Two more. Down, 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 up. Good. Oh, good. Really? Yeah. That's a lot better than I thought it would be, man. That's awesome. Looks really good. Really? I'd say out of the three, this is probably the best. Okay. Yeah, All right. Good. Felt pretty good too. Um, I feel my glutes a lot more when I widen up. Yeah. Uh, I feel it in the higher glute, for sure, which is everybody's uh, go-to nowadays. Whew. So today I did the power lifting with these guys. Um, I was really not knowing what to expect. This is the stuff that I've never done. First time ever doing it. Um, we did deads, we did squats, and we did bench. All three of those I did fairly well from Dino, but he also made some um, critiques on those because it is more important. The critiques that he made, I definitely can feel the difference. I definitely will feel it tomorrow. Um, as in for my deads, how did I go about changing it? What do you do see? So, um, with the deadlift, what we did first, I let him do um, his way he does deadlifts first, let him do his own form. I saw how he did it, and a big 
The main things I saw was number one, his foot stance was a bit too wide and he's doing using a lot of lower back and he wasn't um, in the right position in terms of the distance from the bar. So we brought in that stance a little bit to around hip width. Um, we sit up a little closer to the bar. Uh, we were able to engage the last better. We sat back a little bit so he could use hips and glutes more. And then in result, he used a lot less lower back and more legs and glutes and uh, flats. Which I did feel in the glutes um, and my lats actually. Um, I actually felt like I pulled my lats right out the muscle, um, which was good because they were telling me that I didn't feel it in my lower back, so that's a good thing. As in for bench, um, I used to always stop, and I still I still will, but I'm definitely gonna add this in, is I used to stop about three to four inches from my chest, um, and I'd come in about the middle. Um, from what Dino has taught me, is to come all the way down, just below the nipples, and hold it and pause. Um, I definitely feel the difference in that as well. What were the changes that you made with me that helped my form? So the bench, for his bench, it was uh, pretty good, to be honest, it wasn't too bad. Um, really, it wasn't too much of a change. The only things I did, only things I'd done was I, uh, I, his back positioning, his feet positioning, and uh, the way he placed the bar. So like, like he said, how he did before, he would stop about an inch or two above the chest. So I just had him go all the way down to the chest to right about nipple line. And also I had him engage his back more by retracting his back on the bench, keeping his chest up, turning him high and putting his feet back so his hips wouldn't shoot up. So that way, every, his glutes stayed on the bench, his chest stayed up, and he's able to uh, touch it all the way down to his chest comfortably and safely, most importantly. Then we moved into squats. Um, this is something that I do do, not as much as I should, um, but I do do them. He did critique me on that as well. Um, the biggest thing that I feel that was probably the biggest was the take off the weight off the bar. Um, I was way wide, um, definitely felt the difference. I actually felt stronger moving closer um, when I took it off. What were the critiques that you made with me on the on the squats and what did you see differently when I was done with that? Um, for his squats, um, out of the three, I would say it was the best in terms of base wise. His squats wasn't really bad at all. Um, so number one thing was his, his setup. So when I first saw him do his original form, he would um, he'd get under the bar, his head would be really arched up and his feet would be, would be really wide under the bar and he would unrack it that way. What I saw was it really put him in a compromised position. It didn't let him be balanced, and he always looked really off-centered. So that's the first thing I changed was the setup. So um, I put his head into a neutral position under the bar, uh, put his feet a little closer together before we on a rack, and most importantly, um, had him bracing his core so he could stabilize his body to produce maximum power. So um, he interacted it that way. And then uh, secondly, um, we you open up his stance a little bit so he can open up his hips more and engage his glutes better and hit depth comfortably and safely again. So uh, we did those minor things and um, everything was good from there. He had depth comfortably and he just saw it for a double and it looked really good. So with that, you guys got to realize that I've been bodybuilding for probably six years consistently strong on an everyday basis and just throw this into my, my routine. It really threw me for a loop. And I really highly suggest that, you know, um, I've noticed bodybuilders going from, from bodybuilding competitions to powerlifting and I've asked them what the difference is. And um, honestly, they feel like the stronger they get with strongman or powerlifting, they feel way stronger. Um, these are definitely motions that I feel that you should definitely take slowly. Um, as Dino has said, um, yeah, I can bench 385, but the way that I was doing it, it makes a huge difference because I don't want to stretch out the muscle and stretch it off and tear it off of, off of my muscles. So basically, when you're doing this stuff, make sure that you guys are doing it safely. That's the biggest thing that Dino was talking about is safety. You guys can push all the weight you want. You can leave the ego at the door because here, it's not about how much weight you can lift. It's about doing it properly when it comes to this stuff. So make sure you guys are doing it safe. That's the most important thing. Have fun with it. Um, I just wanted to throw this out there on the YouTube to make sure that you guys know the difference from bodybuilding to powerlifting. None of us are professionals, as everybody's saying on Instagram and social media, um, but it is something that we, I have learned from, from guys that have very good knowledge. Make sure you guys check it out. Make sure you guys check out my YouTube on Brando Swole. Let's ride.